for? Like in, in your job, there, there, there are formal leaders and informal leaders, right? There's the person that's getting paid for the title, and there's the person that works there that everybody listens to. <laughs> right? I found out that the hard way as a teacher, right? I got paid to be in front of the classroom, but Raheem really was in charge of the class. <laughs> so I had to figure out how to make a relationship with Raheem so he could let me have some of his powers so I could be in charge of the classroom sometimes. Right? So me and Raheem really ran, we ran the class together. <laughs> After I figured out who was in charge, that's really that's the truth, right? And so it, it's important to do that, right? So that's that's my two cents. I could be up here for days talking about this. I appreciate you. I want you to know that. Honestly, we don't have to listen, and we don't always have to agree with each other. In fact, we don't even want to be in a space where we always agree with each other. Right? That's right. My father used to tell me when I was a kid, don't hang with people who always agree with you, because those people don't want to see you get better. Right? So. You have to have people who say, listen, hey man, you know I love you, but you can't do that. Right? right? And you know where, where that's coming from, out of a sense of somebody trying to destroy you, out of a sense of somebody trying to make you better, right? Love, love is not always just like this, you know, cozy little thing that, you know, we hug and kiss all the time. Disagreement is important. Tension causes development, right? Contradiction causes growth. So it's important for us to struggle with each other, right? That's important. We're supposed to struggle, but we struggle out of unity, right? Unity and struggle. We struggle to become more unified. We don't struggle to create division, because the more divided we become, the less we can accomplish. We struggle with each other in order to be, to be unified. And, we, and, and, and disagreement is healthy. It's healthy. We look at disagreement like, just because I disagree with you, we, we enemies, or I can't speak to you. I got to walk past you. And, but no, I disagree with my mother sometimes. Right? My mother disagrees with me a lot of times. <laughs> and she tells me. But I never, at any of the time my mother disagrees with me, I don't leave the house and say, my mama don't love me. My mother feed me, talk to me, say whatever, I love you, kiss you, all this other kind of stuff, and then fuss at you. Yeah. 